What's up, Facebook? <sighs> Quick video, and then I'm going to pass out. Huh? What can I do with my tobacco pipe? There we are. Well, I hope you all had an awesome Christmas. I know I did. Certainly no complaints on my end. Still going through a dry spell, but quite frankly, at this point, I could give a shit less. As of New Year's Eve, as of New Year's Eve, I'll be entering the third year of going without, but on the grander scheme of things, Facebook, it could be worse. <coughs> mm. You know what I think is really funny? Facebook. I can't hang out with my female friend Ellen without people assuming we're dating. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm flattered by the idea, but it's never going to happen, you know. And to be quite honest, I value her friendship more than anything else. So... It, it's fucking, it's fucking dumb, Facebook. If me, if me and Ellen walk into a store together, just as friends, doing a little bit of shopping, people assume more of it, you know? People assume more to the story than there already, already is. You know... I mean, if you guys want a girlfriend, then take time to get to know her personally before anything else. Like, actually make an effort to figure out her likes or dislikes, the things that make her tick, you know. What's her favorite animal? What's her favorite color? Does she read any books, you know? These are important details to figure out before anything else. And there's a reason why my crush lets me hang out with her is because she knows that I like her, but she also knows I have enough respect to back off. You know, and yeah. Indeed, Joshua Lawyer. I have some of this here super value black and gold pipe tobacco that a fan sent. Yes, I hate the fact that women and men can't just be friends without people assuming otherwise, you know. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm flattered by the idea that people here in town think me and Ellen are a couple and such, but that's just simply not the case. You know...
I'll be starting another batch of wands in like one, two, three, four, five. Five to six days from now, I'll be starting another batch. I'll be doing a lot more live streaming over the next couple of months. Just the fans seem to like those. Uh, you know, but when you see people you know go through the same bullshit routine with different people and the people they're with turn out to be just like the last person they dated, you're kind of just like, uh I've seen it firsthand, and quite frankly, I'm sick of seeing it. I'm not going to name names, but one of my friends is having a spot of difficulty with the dating scene. You know, can't seem to find the right one, or every person they do find has got some sort of problems. You know, either they're clingy, possessive, or they have their exes, that kind of thing. And, um, well, all I got to say is if you truly like that person, you know, then don't beat her on the bush. Don't just fucking sit there and be like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll change, and then you don't change. You know, I hate, I hate that. Which, that's the one shitty part about dating Facebook, is you got your exes. Huh? Dun, dun, dun. It's always nice when you and your ex can remain on good terms, but nine times out of ten, Facebook, that's not usually how it happens, is it? Now, I find that being single and just observing from my standpoint has taught me a lot about the dating scene. Being single will teach you a lot more about the dating scene than being in a relationship. Because when you're in a relationship, you don't see the rest of the dating scene. You just see you and your partner's dating scene. You don't see everyone else's, you know. And another thing you need to realize is that when it comes to dating, Facebook, when it comes to dating... You have to have that physical attraction, too. Looks are not everything. They're half of it. The other half is their personality. You might find yourself super attracted to their personality, but you go to have sex with them, and it's like there's no physical spark. It's just meh, you know. But if you're physically attracted to them, but you hate their personality, the sex would be amazing, but you try to talk to these people about politics, and they're just like, huh, what? 
you know, you find somebody that you're physically attracted to and mentally you're attracted to them, if their looks are a bonus, and f for real, if you find yourself saying that your so-called best friend stole your heart, why not give them a chance then? Instead of bullshitting yourself. You know, and you can't... You can't rush a good thing. You really can't, YouTube, Facebook. No. The song is by rats. The song is round and round. Where love will get... Where love will find a way, you just give it time. You know, if you want a girlfriend, try being her friend first and see what happens. When every other guy is trying to get down her pants, you're the one guy that just wants to hang out and be her friend. And I guarantee you she's going to appreciate that more than you realize. You know what I'm saying, Facebook. Well, I mean, it's like one of my f of age female crushes said, I know Josh has a crush on me, but he's decent enough to be patient and back off. All these other assholes, blah, 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 blah. It's the truth, Facebook. It is the truth, the truth, the truth. Let's scroll down and chat here. What up, Mike Prince? What up, Alex Ford, CJ? Yeah. No, quite often I find life to be ironic and frustrating at times. <sighs> it's always nice to meet somebody who goes through similar things because it helps you feel less alone. One of my female friends was complaining about how she deals with depression on an almost daily basis. And I'm like, join the club, <laughs> you know? I told my female friend, I said, we can be depression. We can be depression buddies. We don't have to go through it alone kind of thing, you know? Like straight up, that's what I told my female friend. I said, "You and me can be can be de depression buddies because we don't have to go through this alone." You know. Yeah. I'm serious, Facebook. If you want a girlfriend, try being her friend first and watch what happens. Your female friend might have a ton of guys, a ton of guys wanting her, you know. But do they want her for her or do they just want her because she's a nice piece of ass? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing of it. Is most guys just want her because she's got a nice body and a pretty face, you know. Be that one guy that wants her for her personality more than her looks. You know, like, oh, hey, look at that. Her looks are a bonus. Be that one guy that wants to hang out with her and give her attention just because you want to be her friend and you do anything in the world, anything to make her smile.
actions do speak louder than words and sometimes it's not easy backing off especially when you know how it's going to play out so instead all you do is keep your mouth shut and just watch it play out You'd be amazed, YouTube, when women expect you to act a certain way just because you're a dude, and then you're the you're the complete opposite of what they were expecting. It kind of throws them for a loop because they're so used to men treating them a certain way that for them, especially, it's going to be refreshing to see a man who's actually decent. And sometimes, I know at YouTube, sometimes being the asshole is fun because you get to piss people off and offend them. Uh, but sometimes that just doesn't win you any favors on Facebook. I hate to say it. It's easier to piss people off than it is to get them to like you. No, that's, that's the truth. It's so much easier to piss people off than it is to get them to like you. That's the sad truth of it, really. And that's just my honest opinion, YouTube and Facebook, is any girl, any girl would be lucky to have me. So at this point, I'm laughing at my dry spell. But you, when you hear your friends complain because they can't find someone decent to date and you haven't had companionship in like two to three years, at that point, you just want to look at your friend and say, I don't want to hear it. But instead of saying that, instead of saying that, Facebook, give your friend a sympathetic ear, you know, because you'll provide for her something that no other guy can provide. You know, well, they could provide it, but most of the time they don't, do they? No, they don't. You give her a sympathetic shoulder to listen, to listen, you know. I've seen it do wonders, you know. And believe me, you think women don't appreciate it? They do. You know. Anyways, Facebook, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.